The other day, I was pondering on when the last time was that I went for a solo camp. You know, headed out bush just by myself, with nothing but my two legs to move me on and my own thoughts to keep me company. Must have been well over a few years ago now, before I was married and had kids. See, these days I focus on taking my kids out everywhere I go, and the odd occasion I haven't taken them out, I usually have gone for a camping mission with a mate. So I thought it's well and truly time to get outdoors by myself, sneak out for the night, after convincing my wife to take care of all three little ones by herself. The intention was to choose a day when the weather is pretty bad, not something I take my kids out in. So with a minimal setup in my pack, I headed out to a little patch of bush close by to me. G'day everyone and welcome back to another little adventure and uh, I thought you know what I'm going to set myself a challenge and go for a bit of a solo camp just to get out here by myself again and I'm in a beautiful little patch of bushland just near my home so I got dropped off and I'll get picked up again in the morning but um, I've set myself a challenge today because it is raining and we're expecting more thunderstorms later uh, tonight and tomorrow morning and all I've got is the tarp to sleep under tonight so uh, my shoes are already feeling a bit wet, socks are a bit wet but um, Let's see if I can find myself a nice little area out here to camp tonight. Lots of crows around this area. Very nice shelter for a wombat. Beautiful little shelter. I'd be stuck in a little home like that. And this little patch of bushland, which is quite near my home, um, I think I've got a lot to choose from because it's very grassy. I've scoped out this area before. There's so many places I could camp, but I'm actually going to go up the top of this hill. And I remember there's some big granite boulders that look like a nice place to set up. Um, but I'm going to put the rain cover on now because that rain is starting to come down a little bit heavier now. I mean, it's just kind of, it's been a slight drizzle, but it feels like it's going to get heavier. So I wouldn't mind just hurrying it up and getting the tarp set up so I can just bunker down there tonight, <laughs> set up and enjoy myself. So as you can see, my legs are all wet from walking through the long grass. Uh, my jacket's kind of kept the water off the top half, but I didn't bring a spare pair of pants. <laughs> so I'm just going to have to deal with that. I think this is my spot here. And tonight I'm just going for the Ganya uh, style setup shelter. This is my shelter for tonight. On a bit of a slope so that'll be interesting how I sleep tonight but I'm going to get a mozzie net up now quickly because um, there's a lot of mozzies out at the moment so I've got a new mozzie net they're going to try out and I cut my finger while I was doing all that work but this should be all right if the rain comes in hard I wonder how I'm going to go it feels pretty secure And of course, the Alton Goods sleeping map. Guys, that's my little setup tonight. 
You can see I'm in the mozzie net under the gunya shelter and check out my view. I think that's pretty beautiful. I'm happy with that view to wake up to in the morning. Well, I hope she holds up in the night. Hope I don't get rained out. Man, there is so many mosquitoes out at the moment. I'm hoping I'm going to have an alright sleep tonight. I'm not going to do a fire tonight because we're not allowed to where we are on Crown Land, but it's not good to have a fire here. But um, that's alright. It gets dark at around 8 30, 9 o'clock these days, so I'll just sit here and have a bit of a beer. And oh, that rain's picking up now, but that's alright. I have an early one and then get up in the morning and make myself a coffee and make some brekkie. And there's heaps of mozzies on the, on the lens right now. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, it's crazy. Cheers. So while the rain's kind of holding off and you know there's a bit of light still before dark I thought I'd just give a little bit of background to how I got into this kind of stuff how I got into wild camping and kind of camping in general and I guess you can say it started way back as a wee boy wee young lad uh, going on family holidays to the beach were the thing that I remember the most and camping as a, as a young lad my parents kind of got me into it and they took me camping and I really appreciate that because it installed for me that love of just being outdoors and, and then I guess I, I was big into bodyboarding for a long time and, and through that I would uh, yeah go camping and stuff along the south coast of New South Wales and looking for waves and um, yeah just got more and more into that you know sleeping out on the beach with your boards or sleeping in swags and then just going surfing and so I was big into the outdoors during that time of my life as well. Um, and then at around the age, I think it was 22 or so, I was heavily inspired by the movie Into the Wild. I know a lot of young guys have been inspired by that movie. Um, and so I did my own version of that and I spent seven months walking and hitchhiking up the east coast of Australia from, um, from Melbourne all the way up to Cooktown. And during that time, I just did a lot of self-taught survival and bushcraft and outdoors stuff. And that's when I was doing this kind of wild camping stuff a lot. Um, I tried to live off the land as much as I could in certain areas, um, you know, eating fish and that. And up in far north Queensland, I gave myself a bit of a challenge and spent two weeks. I didn't bring any food with me, any water, and I spent two weeks um, up near the Daintree Rainforest, a little bit north from there, um, just living off the land. It was really hard. I went really, really hungry. I just pretty much left, lived on pandanus, uh, the pandanus fruit and coconuts and, and then crabs that I cooked up. Um, but that, yeah, that experience was just incredible and really got me big into this. And a lot of what I do is all self-taught, really, just reading from books and, and, and learning myself. Um, then I had the chance to go to, over to Africa as well, and that was with a, a church organisation, uh, a church NGO, and I started doing youth work over there. And I spent 10 years in Africa, um, yeah, doing kind of youth work amongst young, vulnerable young, young guys, which I really liked. And then when I was over in Africa, I got to do a few good camps as well. I did a few wild camps, um, climbing a few of the big mountains there, but then I also take out young guys, uh, the young Ugandan guys out in the jungle and we go exploring and stuff, which was really, really cool. Um, so I was big into that over there as well. And then when I had kids, I love taking them camping as well. But this year I've really just focused on taking them wild camping because I really wanted to get back into it. And you know, not just pulling up in a car and setting up camp there but just walking out to these kind of remote places and I, I thought you know what I want to challenge myself with little kids and and I thought that it's possible to take little kids out as well while camping and it totally is if you're safe about it yeah I tell you what those mozzies are killing me there are a lot of mozzies out <laughs> this year Pretty unbearable right now. I mean, there are so many mosquitoes out, um, and I camped up pretty high as well, away from the water. So away from the valley, I would have thought that being up higher here, there wouldn't be as many, but they've just exploded this season. Um, this is not very fun right now, so I might just have another beer and then it's coming at 8:30. Hop into the up into the mosquito net and uh, try and bear with it and go to sleep without getting eaten, listen to some music or something. All right, 
see you in the morning. Oh, good morning folks, uh, a lot of rain last night but I felt pretty good in here, it was quite snug and I think the back end of my um, sleeping bag got a little bit wet but though at about midnight uh, last night one of my uh, sticks that I was using as a pole fell down on top of me and it was getting rain on so I had to quickly get out in the night and fix that up but packing up in the rain. <laughs> I know there's not a lot of people out there who think this is fun but I actually find this is really fun. <laughs> this is so cool, just waking up in the bush. It's raining, it's cold, it's miserable. I'm relatively dry. Um, just trying to pack up and get everything sorted under the tarp before I head off. I'm gonna have a nice coffee and some baked beans for breakfast, and I'm looking forward to that. Bank beans for brekkie. Oh yeah. Mmm, that's good. So while I'm here eating, I thought I'd give you a bit of an update on the channel. I've got um one big adventure left for the year before the silly season kicks in with Christmas and everything like that. I'm gonna take my eldest son Ethan away to the high country for three days, try and go trout fishing. Now in regards to my channel, look, it was my goal to reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of this year. Will I make it or not? I'm not sure. I'm on around almost 900. So it does help if you comment and like, um, you know, these videos. Even share my videos if you'd be willing to, especially that high country uh, series I'm going to do. It's going to be a really good video. But um, look, even if I don't make it to the 1,000 subs by the end of the year, I'll still be making videos. I really enjoy it. I feel I can get there. I feel like I'm just on the edge. I'm really close, you know, and next will be monetization. Let's see if I can do it. Otherwise, it's been great just to do this quick little in and out stealth camp. I've always wanted to sleep under the tarp in like stormy, rainy weather like it is right now. And it's been really good. It's quite, I like the tarp, you know, you get a lot of shelter. Um, the Gunya shelter, which I've done today, I probably haven't done the best job at it, especially since it collapsed on me in the night and I had to quickly do the tarp up, do the pegs up again. And, but otherwise, I was quite cosy and didn't really get too wet, so I'm happy with that. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to enjoy these baked beans, and then I'm going to slowly pack up and start to rain heavy again. Um, and then, yeah, walk out to where I'm going to get picked up. But, yeah, been, been a good time out here, so thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Certainly it would have been much more comfortable to just stay at home and sit on the couch with the rainy weather pouring outdoors. But these little adventures that can feel a bit like an endurance test are fantastic for sharpening me. My senses become more aware to my surroundings and I tend to appreciate things more after spending time in the elements. I'll always say it's worth it, no matter how uncomfortable a trip outdoors may be.